Hi everyone, it's Danny, and today is the day where I decided it was finally time to just sit down and do my MAC lipstick collection because I've had lipstick collection videos requested but I think doing my whole lipstick collection would be a bit too much so I'm just going to do my MAC lipstick collection and then I'm also going to do my top 10 favourite lipsticks and I'll try not to include any MAC in there so obviously you can see more of my other lipsticks because MAC are the lipsticks which I own the most of and the ones which I reach for the most so I thought it would be best to show you all of these and I will let you know as I'm describing them which ones I tend to wear most and which ones are my favourites out of these MAC ones. So I'm going to go from sort of light to dark, I'm not going to do it in sort of finish because I just think it'll be easier to go from light to dark considering that's how I have them laid out in my holder. And this is my lipstick holder, I got it from eBay I believe, I don't know, I don't know what I searched, I just searched lipstick holder, I can't remember the seller, but I have 20... One lipsticks, I think this holds 24 and three of them are MAC, so yeah I have 21 MAC lipsticks which is quite a lot but I do love the finish and I just they're just amazing, they last so long on the lips and I do think the quality is worth the price. So yeah I'll just get started because there are a lot to go through. This first lipstick is Freckle Tone by MAC and it just looks like this, I'm wearing it now, I'm going to swatch each one on my lips as I talk about them and yeah this is Freckle Tone and it's a lustre and so it's just really sheer and moisturising, you don't really get that much colour payoff but obviously you do get quite a nice colour on your lips. I don't wear this one enough because I do find it's quite light and peachy but I do really like it, I just seem to forget about it because I do have some other favourite nudes and so yeah this is freckle tone and I think this would suit sort of my skin tone and lighter, it might suit a little bit darker but I wouldn't say anywhere past sort of NC40 or 42 because I think it will start to look a bit too light and concealery so yeah, I really recommend this, it's very moisturising and soft and I really like the peachy undertone to it and it's just a very wearable nude. Okay, so we just had to stop and fix my eyebrows because I was not happy with how they look. But anyway, the next lipstick which I'm wearing now is Honey Love and this is a matte lipstick and I don't wear this one all that much because it is quite light and it makes my lips look kind of funny and a bit concealery but I do wear it sometimes, I usually wear it with a gloss over the top and anyway I've got to hold this up. This is Honey Love and it's a matte and it is quite drying but not the most drying formula I've used of the matte lipsticks. So yeah this one's quite a nice nude shade but I'd probably say for someone a bit paler than me because on me it's a little bit too light compared to my skin tone but it is a very nice nude and it lasts a very long time and I don't find this really accentuates any dry patches so I would recommend this to paler skins but not really to anyone my skin tone or darker unless you like it looking like this but I'm not too keen on it because I just don't find myself wearing it enough. The next lipstick I'm going to show you which I'm wearing right now is Velvet Teddy and this is a matte formula as well and this is my favourite MAC lipstick and also my first MAC lipstick. This is just my perfect sort of nude colour because it's kind of peachy pinky but it is still a nude and I just think this suits sort of any makeup look which I'm wearing and yeah I love it. It is matte so it is kind of drying but again it's not too drying and I don't find it sticks to any dry patches so yeah I find myself wearing this a lot and I love it and I have used quite a fair bit of it compared to my other MAC lipsticks so yeah I definitely recommend this as a nude for someone sort of my skin tone maybe a little bit lighter it would look nice on people that are very pale but obviously it wouldn't look like so much of a nude it would look a lot more brown but I still think that would look really lovely so yeah I definitely recommend this lipstick and anyone that's looking for a nude that's my sort of skin colour this will be perfect for you and this next lipstick which I'm wearing right now is Please Me and this is another matte. I do really like the mattes because I like a matte finish to my lips quite a lot of the time but sometimes I do find them quite drying but nonetheless I do still really like the matte ones and this is Please Me. I'm wearing it right now. It looks kind of lighter on my lips than it does in the tube but I think that's just the undertones to my lips and this is a really pretty pink colour. It's not too bright but it's still not really a nudie pink and I really like it. I don't find myself wearing it that much because I don't think pinks suit me all that well but I do like it and I do try and get used out of it when I remember but I just need to sort of drag it out and use it before I forget about it because it is a lovely colour and I think this would suit most people to be honest again. This next lipstick which I'm wearing now is called Faux and 
I really like this lipstick. It is a satin finish, so it's quite like matte, but a little bit more shiny and moisturising. So I really like this formula. This is probably my favourite formula. And I really like this lipstick. It's sort of a more pinky version of Velvet Teddy, which I love. So it's quite a pinky nude. I think this suits a lot of people, and I think they're quite easy to wear. And it's a nice alternative to pinks or nudes if they're sort of your favourite colours. So yeah, I really do like this. It's a very nice, easy colour to wear with a natural makeup look like this. This next lipstick is Up The Amp and I said that the satin formula is for my favourite but I actually think that the Amplified is my favourite and this is it in the tube and it's just a really lovely purple colour but it does have some pink in it which makes it a lot more wearable and I just really like it as an alternative to pink but it is very bright and in your face so I don't wear it all that often but I do love it and I think it looks really nice with a simple bronze eye and contour and things like that just as a pop of colour and I especially like with the outfit I'm wearing right now because I'm wearing white jumper and it just really stands out and the amplified finishes are very bright and vibrant as I've just said but it is very moisturising and creamy and easy to apply and I find they last a very long time on my lips and when I wear them they sort of fade out sort of very evenly rather than leaving a ring around your lips which I love. This next lipstick is C Sheer and it looks like this in the tube and this on the lips. And I really like this lipstick, it is a luster finish so it's very easy to wear and it glides on really lovely and it moisturises your lips and it's just very sheeny and they're quite sheer but they do have a lot of colour some of them, especially this one, I find it's a really nice pop of colour. It's sort of like a corally colour but it does have a little bit of red in it I find, which I really like and I find I reach for this a lot when I want sort of a bit of red on my lips but I don't want to go for an actual red lip or anything like that so I really love this lipstick and I recommend it a lot this formula is just so moisturising and creamy and I think this lipstick would work on almost anyone this next lipstick is Mocha and this is what it looks like in the tube and it is a satin finish but I do find this quite drying but this is one of my favourite lipsticks along with Sheer and Velvet Teddy and I really like this because it's quite a dark orangey nude I think it's very sort of 90s and I really love it I love the look it gives to my lips because it is like a colour because it does have the red in it but it is also kind of a nude so it's just very easy to wear and yeah I really love wearing this it is a bit drying as I said but it is very creamy at the same time and it does have a little bit of a sheen so although it's kind of drying it doesn't really pick up on the dry patches and your lips don't look dry so yeah I really recommend this lipstick I think it looks great on pale skins or darker skins or even even people much darker than me because it is quite a browny lipstick so yeah I really love that lipstick and I very much recommend it this next lipstick is taupe and this is a matte finish but it is very creamy so it's very similar to the other lipstick I showed you which was Mocha in the formula and I really like this, it's very similar to Mocha as well in the colour but this one's more orangey toned brown rather than a red toned brown and I really like this, I think they're both sort of along the same lines and I wear them for the same reasons but I do reach for them both for different reasons I guess, I don't know, I do really like them and I'm really happy I have both of them and I don't think it's excessive in my eyes but I do like wearing nudes and brownie nudes, they are my favourite types of lipsticks to wear so I definitely invest in ones which I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of and I do really like this, again I recommend it to everyone, even really dark skins or really pale skins, I think it would look really striking on pale skins and it would be a really nice nude on dark skins so yeah I definitely recommend that. This next lipstick is Plumful and it looks like this in the tube and this is a luster finish so again it's quite sheer and moisturising but it does have a really nice vibrant colour. It's sort of a pinky purpley colour, it is sort of like a plum to be honest but because it's a luster it's quite sheer and wearable and I do wear this sort of on a day to day basis just with simple makeup and it brings a little bit of colour to the lips but it's nothing too dramatic which I love and it's very moisturising as I said before about all the lusters, so I really do like wearing this and I reach for it a lot. This next lipstick is Amorous and this is a satin finish, so it's quite matte but it's a little bit more moisturising and sheeny and this lipstick is kind of like plumful but a little bit more plum and obviously matte and opaque. So I really like this when I want to wear plumful but I do want something a little bit more 
vibrant and opaque. I tend to go for this one more in the evenings or more with a heavy eye makeup, whereas I go for Plumful with more of a subtle eye makeup look. So yeah, I really like this lipstick and I recommend it to most people to be honest. I think this is the kind of colour that would suit most people and yeah, I definitely recommend checking this out. It's a really lovely purple lipstick but it's not too purple as it does have a little bit of pinky plum in it so it's a lot nicer. <laughs> This next lipstick is Impassioned and as you can tell it's a very very bright lipstick and it's a amplified finish which is why it's so bright and it's just a really lovely corally pink and it's quite neon to be honest but I do love it. I've worn it a couple of times. It is kind of hard to wear because of how bright it is but I do really like it and it's a very summery colour and for summer I love wearing pops of colour on my lips with simple eye makeup like this which is why I was makeup for this video. and. Yeah, so this is a really lovely colour. It's very moisturising considering how vibrant it is and it does have a really lovely sheen to it which makes your lips just look really nice and full and yeah, I definitely recommend this lipstick if you were thinking about it but thought it was a bit too bright, I would just say go for it and it's a really, really lovely colour to wear. Impassioned has well and truly stained my lips and this is kind of what it fades to when it fades out throughout the day which I really like because it doesn't leave a ring, it just leaves a really nice pink tinted stain on your lips and I'm definitely going to have to whip out the biodermer to get this one off. This next lipstick is Girl About Town and you've probably all seen this before because it's quite a popular pink from MAC and I really love this colour. I only just got it in a back to MAC I did because I wasn't sure about it for a while but I'm so happy I got it and this is actually the first time I'm wearing it on my lips but I really do like it. This is what it looks like in the tube and again it is a amplified finish so it's very vibrant and creamy and sheeny which I love. And yeah, I really love this as a pink lip for the day or the night. I think it's not wearable, but it's quite a universal colour in that it's not solely for the day or the evening. So I really like that and I've been searching for a pink lipstick like this for ages, so I'm so happy I got it. And I definitely recommend this to you if you're looking for a vibrant pink lipstick, but you don't want one that's too pale or anything like that. This next lipstick is So Show. I usually call it So Shored, but I think it is So Show. And this is a matte lipstick, but it feels more like an amplified. It is very creamy and it's kind of moisturising. It's not actually moisturising, but it's not drying like most of the matte lipsticks. And it is very vivid and yeah, I just love this lipstick. It's a very orangey red and I love that. I love oranges but I love reds as well so it's nice to have something in between and I think this lipstick is perfect for the day or the night and I just love wearing it. I don't wear it enough because I'm so scared to wear bright lipsticks in case I end up with a ring around my mouth or lipstick on my teeth but I am going to try and wear this more and I definitely recommend this if you want an orangey red that's really vibrant and will last a long time on the lips and things like that because it does last a long time I just Oh, I don't know, I have this weird thing about wearing bright lipstick. This next lipstick is Lady Danger and I love it to bits. It is such a vibrant lipstick, it's almost neon and it's very similar to So Show but it is a bit more red I would say but it has still got the orange in it but not as much orange as So Show and yeah I really love this lipstick. It's more of an evening lipstick for me because of how vibrant it is but I do really love it and I think this should be an amplified even though it's a matte. I hope I didn't say it was an amplified but I do really like it and I really recommend this lipstick if you're wary about getting it because I think you'll love it. Even if you don't get that much use out of it, when you do wear it, it will be a showstopper. And yeah, I really love this lipstick and the wear time. It is, it is matte in the formula, but it is not really drying. It is quite creamy, so I do like that about it. This next lipstick is Ronnie Red and it was part of the Arch Girls collection and it's one of the Veronica lipsticks and I don't usually fall for limited edition lipsticks because half the time I don't really like the colours but this one the packaging was perfect and the colour was perfect and this is meant to be a red but I find it's quite a raspberry red and it's quite deep and it's a matte but I do find it to be quite creamy and it feels almost like a satin more than a matte so it should be a satin to be honest but anyway this is a really lovely lipstick. I love the colour because it's kind of red but it's kind of pink as well so it's nice if I want to wear a sort of pinky lip but I don't want something too pinky because I don't really think pinks suit me all that well. So anyway this is a really lovely lipstick. I don't want to talk about it too much because obviously you can't really get your hands on it. If you can find it on eBay or anywhere I suggest checking it out because it's such a lovely colour and it's quite unique to anything else I've seen. 
This next lipstick is Russian Red and this is what it looks like in the tube and on the lips and this is a matte formula but I do really like it because I like my reds to be matte and I don't wear it all that much but when I do wear red lip I always reach for this lipstick because I just find it really suits my skin tone because I do have yellow undertones to my skin and this lipstick is kind of more warm toned which is better for me than blue toned lipsticks that are red so yeah I definitely prefer this to Ruby Woo I don't have Ruby Woo but that's why because when I was choosing between the two I tried them both on and I just find this one suits me a lot more than the blue toned reds so I definitely recommend this if you don't think Ruby Woo suits you or if you're just looking for a red and don't know which one to go for out of the two because I definitely think this one will suit more skin tones because I think even sort of cool skin tones can suit this kind of orangey toned red this next lipstick is Violetta and this is a pro colour I believe. I ordered it online though so you can get it online on the MAC website and this is a amplified finish and it's kind of like very sheeny, almost like a frost. It's not glittery but it does have a sheen to it and I don't find this lipstick very wearable on me. It has quite a blue undertone along with this sort of pink undertone which is very strange. I don't think it suits my sort of skin colouring but it could work for someone else. I do like it, I just don't find myself reaching for it because of how bright and shiny and all the different multi-tonal colours going on in it, but it is a very nice lipstick if you want something very bold and purple. This next lipstick is Chilli and this is what it looks like in the tube. This is a matte finish lipstick and yeah, I really love this colour. This is actually my favourite red, not Russian red, but this one is a bit more orangey and a bit deeper and I find this lipstick to be very wearable for me. I know it might not be for other people, but because it's not quite so vibrant, I do find it a little bit more wearable and this lipstick looks a lot more vibrant on camera than it does in person, but definitely check it out if you're looking for a red but want something a little bit deeper and this is kind of like a little bit brownie I would say which I do really like so yeah definitely check that out if you're looking for a red similar to this. Only two more left and this next lipstick is a very deep dark red and it's called Dare You and this is what it looks like in the tube. It's a really deep dark sultry red and I really love it because it's a cream sheen formula so it's very moisturising and creamy on the lips and it's quite glossy and I do like my darker reds to be glossy where I like my lighter reds to be matte so I really love this lipstick I don't wear it all that often again because it's more of an evening lipstick but I do really love it and this is meant to be a red that Louise from Made in Chelsea loves I don't know how true that is but yeah I really like it all the same and I definitely recommend this if you want more of a deeper red but because of the sheen it is a little bit more wearable than sort of a matte steep red. Okay so this is my final MAC lipstick and it's this one and it's called Rebel and it is a satin finish and yeah it is very glossy but it is very pigmented and rich and this is a really lovely dark purple colour but it has some pink in it which makes it a little bit more wearable and I do think it looks a lot better on the lips than it does swatched or in the tube. So don't be afraid of the colour in the tube because it does come out like this which is a bit lighter and a little bit more pinky which I really like. I don't wear this all that much again. I don't wear many of my brighter or darker lipsticks all that much just because it's hard to find an occasion for them but I do love them and when I do wear them I love wearing them. So yeah, this lipstick is a really lovely dark purple colour. I think it's a lot nicer than dark purples from other brands as it does have that little bit of pink in it which makes it a little bit more gir girly and fun. Okay, so thanks for watching guys. That's the end of the video. That's all of my MAC lipsticks. I hope you enjoyed seeing them all on the lips. My lips are quite sore now but oh well, it's worth it. And yeah, so I will list all of the lipsticks in the down bar along with which ones were my favourites. And I will also link the blog post which I'm writing to go with this video in the down bar. And I'll also have all my links in there as usual so do check them out. And like this video if you liked it, leave your favourite MAC lipsticks in the comments because I love buying more and just checking out new lipsticks because I do love lipstick. And so yeah, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it, I'll see you in my next video, bye!